Have you ever had a horrible boss? Or perhaps you're a leader, a manager, or a corporate executive, and you wonder if maybe you are perceived as a boss that not everybody respects and gets along with. Well, my expert today says that you can change all of that. She is the creator of Leadership Physiology, and she's here today to take us through her astonishing process. Cheryl Palmer, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Kristen. So what is Leadership Physiology? Leadership physiology is systems that I discovered is a secret to dramatically improve the leadership in any business today is the physiology. And what I mean by that is there's an intellectual and physical component to leadership. And leaders that are most successful in business today understand the importance of both their physiology and their leadership. So we were talking about horrible bosses. What makes someone a horrible boss? Well, we are looking at right now employee engagement, despite all the initiatives, is remaining at about 28%. And when they were asked, many of them talked about the leader not walking the talk, uh, lack of inspiration um, was the frustration on many of the employees that were asked about it. So is this something that can be fixed? Absolutely. But within leadership physiology is what we're focusing on is that, and most leaders know that their customers, their employees, uh, competitors and financial analysts are judging them on subjective perception of their presence, control, power, co uh, confidence, and the way that they uh, influence others. So if a leader, male or female, wants to turn it around, what do they need to be aware of? Well, they need to be aware of that we work with top executives to really strengthen the areas that I mentioned, power, control, uh, confidence, and influence. And uh, it's much like an athletic uh, trainer would train a professional athlete for peak performance in their individual sports. We train leaders in, for peak performance in business and become healthier. Cheryl, so what's at stake here? What's at stake uh, is uh, ultimately a lot of money. It's a heavy cost and burden for businesses right now if they're unable to retain top employees, customer loyalty, execute with excellence, and doing more with less. And Leadership Physiology Systems, which is a new 100 times peak performance coaching model, will change and strengthen those areas so they can uh, achieve higher results and become ha uh, healthier. As the creator of Leadership Physiology Systems, tell me a little bit about the research behind what you've created here. Well, I have integrated the latest and new advanced strategic brain and anatomical performance science so that we build companies that retain employees, customer loyalty, sustain profitability, execute with uh, excellence, and do more with less. I think there's not a leader out there that doesn't want to do more with less. Cheryl Palmer, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you very much. And I would just like the leaders to be more intellectually aware of their physical presence in their business at all times and know that they are being watched. <laughs> that sounds a little bit ominous, but actually I do think it's such an important point that we are um, on stage when we're a leader and people are making assessments about our power and our authority at all times. Yes, and responding to it. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for being here. Thank you, Kristen.